And I know they really wish we would hey. fall Till we fall hey. on the big bad wolf hey. as a full moon Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a, another gun comparison between two guns that I've seen in multiplayer a pretty good amount. And today I was trying to record two hours of multiplayer gameplay so I could do some PvP comparisons and none of it recorded. So unfortunately those videos are going to be delayed a little bit more because I really was mad actually that it didn't record. But anyways, let's get into this video. Alright, so the first weapon we are going to be comparing is this Suros Auto Rifle right here. You guys might be wondering which one it is. It is actually one from Banshee. The gunsmith if you guys don't know it's a reward that you can get from him you can get it from other people too it's the gilliard 42 and um here are the stats without anything adjusted or anything like that i was running it the way i run it for multiplayer and it's a 600 round per minute auto rifle energy wife ugh, energy rifle energy rifle 44 magazine and pretty well-rounded stats really good handling so it aims down really really quick and then um, what I like to run is this, so it kind of downs the handling, but honestly the range is just worth it. So it has well adaptive frame and Rampage. Rampage is really good for PvE, not really PvP because you don't get into many gunfights where you kill one and then go on to the other one. And I just got a new monarchy token, I don't know why, but anyways, let's keep going. So yeah, I mean this gun's really good. Let me just go up here and now I'm going to do a recoil pattern for you guys so you guys can see the recoil on it. I'm going to shoot up this. Uh, structure right here so this is the recoil pattern that I have it at where I have the um, ricochet rounds and I don't have the stability perk let me actually throw that on I want to show you guys that it doesn't really make a huge difference you guys can see it's just a little vertical and a little bit off to the left so let's go over here just a little bit and start shooting so with the stability perk it, it just makes it honestly I think it makes it worse you guys saw right there where it hits at the left and it just really really um, peaks right there but yeah I like running it without that and doing the ricochet rounds because sometimes you can get a kill like that and then I have a shader on it so you guys can see this is what it looks like without the shader it's all junky and old looking but I put on a Suros modular shader because it's a Suros weapon but anyways that's pretty much it for this weapon let's move on to the next one all right so this is the next weapon it is also another Suros auto rifle 600 round per minute energy rifle and um or energy weapon I guess it's not really a rifle because there could be SMGs and stuff like that but anyways so this one is the martyrs make I've been seeing this one come up a lot and it's a, it's the only way to really get it is playing crucible so obviously if you're in crucible you can get this weapon you guys can see the stats right here the range is much better than the other one at stock but I mean it doesn't really matter too much the handling is good stability is pretty good it's got a larger mag by five magazine or five rounds in the magazine and then over here it's got the well adaptive frame like most weapons do and then high impact reserve so the last couple bullets in the mag I believe it's like the last 10 or 15 bullets will do extra damage so I mean it's really good in PvE and PvP just for that reason because you do have to shoot them a lot of times with this gun so if you're getting into a gunfight and you beat one and you're going on to the next one without reloading you have a pretty good chance of beating him because you will get that extra damage and um, so this is how this isn't how I run it I like to run it um, with the SPO front you guys can run it with the SRO yeah the SRO um, 52 ocular but I personally prefer the front and then I like to run it with the extra um, I like to run it with the extra range just because but you guys can run it with the ricochet rounds I'm actually gonna keep the ricochet rounds on it and then we're gonna see the differences in the recoil so here's the first recoil without the um, or with the ricochet rounds and you guys can see it just goes up and to the right and then kinda comes back to the middle so it's not too bad it's really really easy to use it's really controllable and I mean I've been seeing it a lot so I mean makes sense on why people would use this weapon a lot more and then this is with the um, or without the ricochet rounds now and you guys can see it's more just straight vertical instead of like how it was going to the right a little bit but that's pretty much it for these two weapons here's a control or here's a comparison I don't know why I said control here's a comparison to the two specifically with the stats that I have on it so you guys can see that the Gilliard has a much better stability but honestly I don't really feel it I feel like the Martyrs make has a better stability but anyways let's move on to the actual gameplay with these weapons all right, so we're gonna just take down this this Hydra really fast, and then we're gonna move on to some more enemies. And um, I mean, yeah, this gun, like you guys can see, like the the damage does go up. It went from 112 to 123 right there on the third person. I think that was the third. I couldn't really see the chaining. I wasn't really looking. I think that was actually the second chain. It stacks up to three, so you guys can get it much higher than what I just had it at. And you guys can see the recoil is very easy to control. I'm barely holding down the right stick. I wish I could show you guys my controller when I'm doing that, but I actually don't have a camera to do that, so unfortunately I can't. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep going around and trying to get uh, kills with this. 
trying to keep the rampage stacking up and um yeah i mean you guys can see that with this weapon it's it's pretty much all based around the rampage because you can get the first kill and then your second kill will be much much easier so if you're doing this with like a group of um enemies where it's around i'd say like i don't know like dregs or somewhere like that then you have a really good chance of getting kills and then like thralls make this rampage thing go up a lot and yeah i mean like not bad at all the guns really good <laughs> oh dude this is the boss i think i've only beat him once or twice but i mean i don't really want to fight him i'm just gonna uh let's see let's see if this can actually damage him i forgot i have the six shot on yeah that didn't do anything so i'm not gonna fight him anyways we're gonna move on to the next weapon and show some gameplay with that and you guys can judge after that which weapon is actually better or which one looks better and um yeah so i'm gonna move on to the next weapon so we're gonna do the martyr's make now all right, so now we have the Martyr's Make, and we are going to just get a couple of kills, and you guys can see that it just does 102, 105. So the buff at the end, I didn't see when that started. It started probably around, like, I'd say, uh, let's see, actually, this is 16 bullets. We're going to see if the buff is on it or not. 99, 105, maybe around, like, the last, yeah, 10 to 15 bullets, you get a little buff. It's about what would that even be it's just uh from 102 to 105 so it's not crazy good but it is an increase so i i'd say honestly if you're going to use this weapon then don't really rely on the you know the overall um damage of it focus on headshots if you're using this for pvp pve as well people don't ever go for headshots for some reason in pve um but yeah the control or the recoil is easier to control in my opinion it just i don't know why it seems a little bit better and it has more ammo so personally, if I had to choose, just because Rampage is never in PvP, I would have to choose this weapon over the, the um, Gilead, just for the fact that you're never going to really use Rampage in PvP. But in PvE, if we're talking about PvE, then I'm going to choose the Gilead over this one, just because Rampage is actually really good for PvE, because there's multiple enemies. If there was a 6v6 game mode in Crucible, then yes, I would choose that. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you get notified whenever I get a video out on Destiny 2. That was so bad. Just hit the subscribe button for daily Destiny 2 videos. I don't know why I try to change it. I always try and do something different. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. And I will see you guys all tomorrow for another video.